Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 35. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful, and to the evil. So let me break this thing down. But love ye your enemies, love your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. Let me highlight that. Let's make this thing blue. Okay. And do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. Sometimes when people give to people, they do it because they may say to themselves, well, there is something that I am going to need help in the future with. So if I give to this person, that means that that person will have to have no other choice but to help me because I just gave to that person. So it obligates that person to do for me even if they don't want to. If you give in that way, that is evil. That is wrong. Manipulation. You are not supposed to do that. When you give, you are doing it when you give, you are doing it out the kindness of your heart. Not to get something back. When I give to people, I know that I am going to reap what I sow. So my rewards are going to come from God. Even if the person is not kind to me, even if that person is unthankful, it does not matter. Because I know that God sees what I do for people and I am going to be rewarded based upon the good deeds that I do for people. When you do good for people, don't do it expecting something back out of them. Now, if it is agreed upon, hey, if they ask you for $100 and an agreement was made between you and that person that that person is going to pay you back, fine. But if the agreement is you don't have to, or that person does not have to pay you back, but you use that as a crutch, like, hey, remember when I gave you that $100? So, hey, I need someone to paint my house. And then you need someone to help you with your car. Then you call that person. Remember when I gave you that $100? Come help me with my car. And then you need someone to sweep your floor. Hey, remember when I gave you that $100? So you continue to throw that favor, favor that you gave. So you continue to throw that favor in that person's face over and over and over again making that person feel obligated to help you when you should not be that way. That is wrong. That is evil. And you are going to reap what you sow based upon that. If you are going to be that way toward people, make sure that there is an agreement upon that. If no agreement have been made to be that way, it is wrong to do that. When I help people, I don't expect anything back from that person. I don't. And I help plenty of people. I don't look for anything back from them. There are people that backstab me and I do for them. I don't look for anything back from them unless I say, hey, you know, if I come and pick you up, you know, give me $10 or something like that, you know. But if no agreement was made for payment, I don't look for anything from those people. Because I look for my rewards from God. And when you are spiritually minded, 
you are going to understand this a lot more. You will see the closer you get with God, the more that you are going to see how much control God has over this world. But if you are carnally minded, earthly minded, all you see is gain or money and stuff. That is why you are being cursed so much because you are not spiritually minded. Don't be carnally minded because that is only going to bring death to you. So what you have to do, and I continue to say this, read your Bible more, pray more, ultimately obey God. The more that you obey God, the more he is going to increase your understanding. Am I saying that I know everything? Of course not. There are plenty of people that know much more than me about God and have experienced God more than I. But what I am saying, the closer you get with God, the more that you are going to understand and the better you are going to treat people. When you do for people, look, man, and I continue to say this over and over and over again. We are, this life is a test. It is only a test. Why use people when you are being tested? Why take advantage of people when you are being tested? Why treat people wrong when you are being tested? This is not life. This life, I guess you can say, is a test. You are trying to live your real life on a test. Heaven or hell, or should I say, heaven and the lake of fire is going to be someone's home. So the only home that you are going to have is heaven or the lake of fire. Earth is not our home per se. To make this really simple to understand, life on earth or this existence on earth is not our real life. We are just here on this earth to be tested. But you are trying to do all of these, all of these things, <sighs> my Lord. I pray that this makes sense. Stop doing good things for people just to make them feel obligated to do things for you when you are supposed to give with no motives. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.